What's up YouTube? Financial Rider here and today I'm at the, what's that shit called? The Grove? The place where everything is a little bit expensive but yeah I'm at the Grove with my scooter and I will show you one thing is the free motorcycle parking and then how it's pretty much it's free let me just get my Hmm, how am I going to do this? Okay. My hand hurts. Come on, there we are. Um, this area? You're welcome. Let me get the fuck out. Free parking complete. Three hours. <coughs> Alright, in the meantime, I would like to make a more vlog today about pretty much a comparison video. I'll be comparing both the um, both this Kimco to a motorcycle. Yes, I know. I'm comparing an apple to an orange. I'm comparing a apple, which is easy to bite into, aka the scooter, and I'm comparing it to an orange. An orange, which is if you have arthritis, it will be hard to peel, aka the CBR to 50R. So. For now, what I'm going to do is, I'll talk about the Kimco, and I'll talk about how I feel about it. So far, I put in 430 miles. Fuel economy is amazing with between the 70s to 80s in the city. So, this is what I have to say about this. Well, what I have to say in pretty much in Pretty much I'll probably s it will cover almost probably less than the 250cc scooters. Let's just leave it as that. Alright. So first, well it's always standard on a scooter. Some form of car some form of cargo capacity. An upright riding position. Some scooters with small tires and automatic transmissions that's pretty much what you get on a scooter you'll get an automatic transmission storage upright riding position and storage now with me being six feet tall just standing upright is just fine by me i can stand up upright and well I lose some fuel economy if I do that so, if, so sometimes I just crouch if I'm going on a long trip otherwise I just stand straight up and just drive my feet both my feet on the ground on the floorboards and just take it easy now probably the other thing I like to say is Maybe for my height, I probably would need a windscreen. I do say I probably, because I'm not 100% if I need it or not. Like, if I really going to get some more wind in my face, is there a difference? Am I going to get better if you look on me? Look oh, that, I'm all turn. Now let me just talk about my opinions on this scooter. Scooter is very, very... If you like some people who just got their license and they don't want to drive a car and they don't want to drive a, some, drive a motorcycle, this scooter, without a doubt, is just perfect the way it is. You have a little... Yeah, 
some form of cargo capacity. It's easy to drive, it's lightweight. I can make easy U-turns, or I can say sexy U-turns, with no problems. And it's lightweight, so it's easy to control. So even um, probably a feeble girl, maybe a 12 year old girl, can drive this with no problems, even though it's probably not legal. Well, actually it's not legal in the US, maybe in other countries it is. But yeah. And the scooter has more features than my own CBR to 50R. One of them was is push to pass. And what's the other odd one? I have push to pass? Oh, actually that's it. All I have is push to pass. So now let me just com compare the pros and the cons of pretty much the scooter and the motorcycle. Now comparing this scooter to the um, CBR 250R, let's do that comparison. Now first off, the pros in the city having to not, having to not switch gear switch shift gears is a plus so basically number one pro automatic transmission because you know in a motorcycle you have to switch gears a fucking a whole lot I think I switched like a hundred times before I get to work so without having to shift gears I could just have a worry free ride now the second pro, I won't have to lane split here, so fuck, I can't even lay. Oh, and for this scooter in particular, second pro, there's an easier bike to lane split in. Oh yeah, that's why traffic's a bitch. Oh look, bad driver, hand on your cell phone. Alright, and the third and final pro is... What was it again? Ah! Storage! Storage is a huge plus! You can do some small amounts of groceries. You can put your backpack on there. You can put your textbooks on there. You can put your business suit on there. You can put your cleaners on, a, on the helmet hook. And it will be no problems. Now, let's go to the cons of a scooter. Number one con. Something is in my fucking eye. Alright. Number one con. It's not fast. Compared to the CBR, it's about 4 seconds or maybe 6, 6 seconds slower. And this, this scooter here actually struggles to get to 60. It honestly, it managed to get to 60, but no higher than that. So, maybe it's because the engine is not completely broken in yet. If that's the case, then that's fine by me. I just gotta make sure the engine is broken in. Alright, second con. It's not... This doesn't have enough fun to it. Now, depending on your personality, 
this may actually not affect is not affected but basically the scooter is not that much fun to fuck <laughs> it's not that much fun to fuck yeah very much in like for example let's say you're gonna go in these twisties just for the hell of it it's not gonna be fun on a twisty you just will twist and go and that's pretty much it on a motorcycle at least you have the uh, at least you can be able to move around with the clutch clutch and all that <coughs> Yeah, making it a more engaging experience on the motorcycle and then let's cover our next con this only applies if you're lane splitting next con of a scooter you can't rev up your engine now what do I mean by revving up your engine let's say you are stuck because of an asshole who decided to cock block you which also means oh my it also means the car is blocking your way you can't rev up your engine to let them know that you're in the way if you have to you have to use the horn but the horn is well pretty annoying and loud I would not recommend using the horn so, yeah, that was one of the other cons. Hmm, them school kids are out. Alright, let's see here. And that pretty much summarizes the three cons and the three pros of the scooter. Now, I'm gonna head back home. I'm gonna switch bikes for the next motor blog. So, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. So, what's up YouTube? <coughs> I'm back. Now, let me get the fuck out. How do I get the fuck out? Anyway, while I am on my way home with my fun with my weekend bike I well might as well discuss to you guys about well pretty much the differences between a motorcycle and a scooter from the motorcycle perspective first off one thing you probably already first off one thing you probably may notice is what I'm all this sounds familiar first off let's discuss the pros of a motorcycle number one pro it's engaging to drive if you are shifting gears you are the one that is in control of the bike shifting gears all the fun nonsensical stuff alright now second pro you can rev up your engine so lane splitting becomes a little bit more easier just rev up your engine and then that guy may either do one of two things move out the way or put their cell phones down it's more likely it's going to be put their cell phones down and then move out the way and then the third pro is well it's more suited for the freeway now this only this actually applies to only pretty much anything that's less than five thousand dollars 
it's more than capable of going on the freeway. More, anything more than 5,000, this one is not as capable as the other markets are. Hmm. I don't know what this lane will take me. Oh, well, I don't know what way to find out. Ah, damn it. Let's see. Thank you. Ah, damn it, why did I pick the most congested parking? Come on. I can't even move to begin with. Hmm. Uh, I should have never picked this three. Okay, you're well. Ow, my balls! Oh, and then there's another pro I just remembered. Is the suspension is much better than the scooters. Because the scooters, they usually just have like some, it was like, okay, suspension. And then you get um, small tires. Motorcycles like these usually have big tires, and big tires is a good thing. I'm so fucking hot. Yeah, this is the middle of January and it's hot as fuck. Now, might as well list. Now, I already discovered discuss the pros. Let's go to cons. Number one con: no fucking storage. Number two con: shifting gears gets annoying in the city. I'm already sh I've probably shifted 50 times since I started my bike up. For this video. And then lastly, number the last con is you know, it varies it varies on motorcycle you get. Fuel economy is not as good. At the same time, this bike is better fuel economy than what do you than most super sports anyway, so that's really not a factor, but at the same time, that pretty much does it. Now, of course, of course, when I listed the pros and the cons, they're literally the opposites of the pros and the cons of the scooter. And then, if you actually try to, if you put car in there, only pro I will probably give you is. Well, actually two pros. One, protection against the elements. And then, the other pro, you can carry a lot of stuff. <coughs> and then if I have to list cons, everything is a con. Gas is expensive, insurance is expensive, 
you can't lane split so you're stuck in traffic on most occasions like maybe you just saw and well yeah that's it I uh, pretty much have discussed everything I need to discuss maybe I should visit that Maserati dealer as well hey is that a Porsche? oh no that's a Ferrari eh no matter what I still have no money for it anyway well until then guys peace